One of those specialist type players. Oh dang, oh, is that your life? Man, uh, no, not quite the directional air dodge, but after the toad, what do you have, Umeki? Oh, just gonna respect him, go for the lead trap. I like that, the low float back air, but not actually landing a hit. Mr. E yet to even land one hit at all, though. Oh, Hold the, the snipe. Trip. That's it. That is it. We were talking about how this matchup might not be so good for Peach, but it might not be so bad if you've got edge guards like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, the directional air dodge was actually able to save Mr. E from that onslaught in the beginning. He took so much damage, though, and then one turn of snipe later, and that's going to be a wrap. And still, can you? Okay. Oh, we got a hit. Yeah, he was able to catch it with the forward air, the turn up, but man, that combo extension was looking nasty. Oh, yeah. And right now, one of Japan's best tangling up against New York's, one of New York's best. And right now, man, Meki doing quite quick work of Mr. E. Definitely don't hold it out of Mr. E. Definitely can bring this back. He's got to pull himself together, though. Ooh, crushing him with that forward air. Well over a stock lead at this point. He's considerably lapped him and doubled his percentage. Umeki <laughs> looking like a man on fire right now. Who said this guy's just a T.O.? Dang. <laughs> and it's just so crazy because man, there's so much to avoid off stage. Mr. E's doing a really good job of missing out his recoveries, but there's turn up throw down, turn up throw out. We have all these staggering and, and like float. Uh, Umeki positioning himself really well, avoiding edge guards with float as well. I even saw Samsora tweet earlier. He thinks the best move in Smash Ultimate is float. Oh, that's not even a move, but yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> if any other character had that, it would be over. Imagine Lucina floating and <laughs> feeling like back air to shield breaker. All right. Give everyone float, There's man. a reason that that isn't in the game. Yes. Oh, we got a Stitch Face online here. Mr. E down an entire stock with the Stitch Face online. So much to respect. And Umeki throwing out the aerials while holding it, but the parry on the Stitch Face. Yeah, and because it was the Stitch Face that got parried and not Peach's body, she didn't, or Dace's body, she didn't suffer the uh, parry lag there. Wow. We saw him able to just go right into the down tilt. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Yeah, that is, that's definitely what it looked like what happened. I didn't know that. Yeah, that, that is a really good point since it's not like their move, actually. Okay, there's the down throw. Tries to get the back around the DI out. Not going to give it to him, though. Okay, some of these trades not too bad. I, I feel like Mystery at this point gets the stock trade, or he, he just gets the stock. He might be at a little higher percent, but he's got a little bit of rage to work with. Uh, that was just enough to make that neutral air close the door on Umeki's second stock. All of a sudden, he's back in this. It was a total bloodbath on Umeki's part in the beginning. Oh, and it looks like he might be continuing the trend. Yo, uh, Lucina, not the only one with a shield breaker on the screen. Oh, that yeah. Mr. Saturn, as long as he's around, have to be scared pressing your trigger buttons. Yeah, one of very few items that if you shield it, it is gone. Mr. Saturn, a very unique item. Also, when uh, you hit Saturn or Saturn gets a hit on something, it makes a really uh, weird honking sound. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> very true to their character in Earthbound. Yeah. Oh, oh, you can't be blocking that. And that's going to be game one. Umeki with the frying pan, closing it out, cooking mama. Yep. <laughs> Mama. Great game, by Don't the way. Don't need to add her into Smash if you got Peach's forward smash. You know what I'm saying, man? Yep, that frying pan. And in this game, you can choose which uh, which smash attack you want to yes. use by choosing the direction as you do the smash attack. Up, down, or nothing right there. Umeki taking him off the top with the frying pan. And I believe that's the strongest one. Because it just believe, for, yeah. for knockback and then like the angle send is really good because it just sends straight up. So right. it's really hard to like alter the DI. Man, Umeki putting on quite the show, especially on the first stock of that game. Really convincing. Uh, I'd say, yeah, the win was pretty convincing overall. But yeah. that first yeah. stock, man, that was just destruction. Oh, yeah. It was uh, absolute control coming out from Umeki. And, I mean, what better tournament for a Peach or a Daisy to come out swinging than Momocon? We're here in Atlanta, Georgia, of course, the state of Peach. Yeah, dude. The Peach <laughs> state, the Peach convention. Yep. Yeah, you, you guys even symbolism over here. Those ain't oranges, man. No, Those they're are, not. They're, they're not. They're definitely peaches under that Momocon logo. If we were in Florida, it could be, you know, yeah. Orange Con or whatever. Yeah. We're, we're definitely pretty close. <laughs> Fortunately, there's a character named Peach in the game. There's nobody named Orange, and that would just, <laughs> you know. Everyone just wears orange skins, but there's, like, no actual orange character. <laughs> All right, so starting off this game, number two. Of course, I don't see either of these players switching characters. Um, very loyal to uh, the characters they're playing on the screen right now. And I, I, I got to say, man, Umeki rocking one of the uh, the best color palettes for Daisy. The red and black looking pretty crisp. Yeah, I really like it, too. I think Daisy does have better costumes than Peach overall, if I'm going to be real. And there's a directional air dodge. Wow! Oh, but it wasn't even worth it. He had no reason to go out there and take that damage. Yeah. I, I feel like maybe Mr. E might have drifted back like because he was scared, but I mean nonetheless, Umeki just trying to make sure he gets that stock. And right now running a rampage here. There's the directional air dodge. Tries to get the snipe with the bomber. But man, Umeki's offense and Umeki's offstage is 
absolutely overwhelming Mr. E right now. Yeah, Lucina with, as we were talking about before, a fairly reliable recovery, right? Partially invincible on the start of Dolphin Slash, one to five in the air. Yeah. And very fast, very threatening hitbox, but Umeki using the turnips to great effect and also just threatening him with a float. Even if you manage to trade with Dolphin Slash, as long as your tech is ready, then yeah. you're safe. Ooh, Ooh the back throw. Oh, man. Pizza's hind quarters are daisies. Super strong in this game. Oh, wow. The down. Oh, wow. He comboed. <laughs> Usually don't see uh, Peach and Daisy do that, but wow, really great awareness coming out from Kameki, and that, that's the scary thing about Japan in general. I just, there, there's so much character loyalism, like they just know so much about their character. They're really into it. Oh, wow, that comboed. Hey, are you, are you're dead. Okay, okay. Barely saving the double jump mystery. Gonna close it out, and wow, really good stuff. I, I thought he got his double jump snipe from that down air. But man, Umeki is going so deep for these edge guards. It's wild. Okay, gonna pull the turn up there. And I like that Mystery's getting a little bit more offensive, but the forward air is gonna close it out. Low percent, two stocks for Umeki, man. What a commanding 2 0 lead in this set. This is actually insane. I would have favored Mr. E just based on the matchup here, but clearly there's more to the story than just the matchup, right? Two yeah. characters on the screen, obviously a lot of that will dictate the flow of the match, but can't count somebody out just because their character wins or loses a matchup. Yeah, Umeki's playing the neutral so well, and another thing I really want to point out is Umeki, when he gets a hit, he makes it count hard. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> like, ridiculous conversions, just does not let up whatsoever. Yeah, and then even after the conversion, it's like, what situation am I putting him after? I'm really going to try to get as much damage or just completely get the stock on the edge guard. And Umeki has really proven that his ability to push that disadvantage state has really made his way into this 2-0 uh, lead here on Demise's very own Mr. E. Oh, very great delay on the Nair. The parry tries to get the down tilt. Really, uh, probably the most best combo starter for Peach. Yeah, not, not a crazy amount of range. Falling up air as well because you can bring that into a down tilt. Yep. Peach has a lot of ways to get the party started, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there it is. It's very solid. Even that's the crazy thing about down tilt too. At that mid or later percent, even down tilt into a solid Nair affair. Those moves do a lot of damage and have a lot of knockback. Yeah, just because it's a two-piece doesn't mean it's not a good combo. Yep, exactly. Oh, direct, oh, and that's one thing I feel like, oh, dang, you break my shield, I break yours. You fully charge on the neutral B. I'm not even going to space it. That's your soul. Right there, Mr. E starting off this game number three with a lead here. And I, I feel like we might see the adaptation coming out from Mr. E. Yeah, this is definitely the best he's looked, of course. Umeki has started off every game so strong. All right, but he's going to respond very quickly. Forward air with that high hitbox just sweeping him out of the air. Oh, yeah, that, that hitbox so, so big and so, so powerful. That crown, I don't know what's uh what what it's loaded with, but dang, it hits hard. It's spiky, man. <laughs> yeah. It's got to hurt. Yeah. Made of solid gold. All right, so, ooh, the cross-up, though, from Umeki. I'm not even too sure if he knew he crossed up because he buffered air dodge, or buffered spot dodge. But, <laughs> but I like how Mr. E is, especially off stage. I feel like it's not as punching because Mr. E is more willing to throw out some of these fares as he's coming back on the stage with these aerials to kind of contest these turnips. These turnips are not transcendent, so you are able to contest them with a the hitbox. Yeah, you can clank them out, or you can just catch them, being that they're items. Yep. Oh, Umeki, wow. tempting fate right there, but he's able to air dodge. Mr. E picks up the grab anyway. I like the idea too. I think Umeki wanted to do turnaround grab after that neutral air dodge, but like, but like using neutral air dodge, almost almost very reminiscent to Brawl. You don't have absolutely no lag, but you have very little lag after doing a neutral air dodge to the ground, and you can actually reverse those situations if your opponent has committed a hitbox during that time of your neutral air dodge. Okay, try to get the roll behind, but the back air out of shield for Mr. E. Stalling out with the float. What's the ledge trap going to be? The neutral air dodge. Wow, very smart from Umeki. The ledge drop double jump neutral air dodge. Oh, and the drop zone fair. Mr. E once again getting the edge in this game. Number three, collecting that uh, that stock first. But uses the toad, and it turns around. And, man, Umeki is almost always there to, for the instant response there. No extra credit here for Mr. E. Okay, there's a turn up throw, the down air. I, I like that he was drifting to the right, though. And, again, these really great space aerials with the correct drift can be very safe on block for Mr. E. Down to the wire right now. Umeki just snatching the lead with one hit, but Mr. E gonna take it right back. These guys going back and forth here in the third game, but Mr. E with so much more work cut out for him. Yeah. yeah especially in terms of just this entire set. If Umeki is able to clutch it out 3-0, that will be it. Mr. E still has to win three in a row to get this W. 
love that. Canceling his rise from the double jump, pulling him to float. Putting that forward air perfectly oh. over Mr. E's down tilt. Wow, that actually knocked him out all the way out there. Yeah. I think he got hit at like 95%. Mr. Out of the park. Kind of fall to Umeki. Fortunately for him, that's winner's bracket, so he's still alive here. Yeah. Of course, one of the best in the tri-state area, best in the world. Uh, but man, Umeki just...